that video is going to go through creating um, DNS records, so importing them uh, using a CSV with PowerShell. So this is obviously a lot quicker than, you know, if you have a lot of devices you need to create DS, DNS records for, so devices that aren't on your domain, so things like switches, um, some equipment like that, you can create them manually. And we'll have a look. So we'll have a look at DNS. Uh, or look up zone, so this is my zone. So this is a new domain I've just set up, so there's not much here at the moment. Um, you can obviously create them manually. You can come in here, put in the device name, IP address. Obviously that's going to take a while, a few 50 or 60 devices, that's not an ideal way to do it. So what I've done is just created a CSV file which just has two columns, a name and IP, so a name is all the device names and IP addresses the IP address of the devices. So in this case the, my device is just switch one, switch two, up to switch 50. And the IP is going 172.16.1.1 up to that 50. So what I'm going to do is open PowerShell. I like the ISE version one as administrator. the first thing we'll do is import that list of devices from a CSV so I have this little bit of code saved uh, back to PowerShell paste this in so this is just saying so import CSV and then the path to the CSV where I have it saved um, all right so run that line so that's going to be four I can now show what is in this devices variable and you can see it's just pumping out everything in my CSV so then using that I want to loop through what was in the CSV and create the DNS records so that's what this piece is doing so for each device in the devices array, um, we're gonna say add DNS record name, device.name, the zone, which is my DNS zone, IP address, device IP. Taking that, those two variables from the CSV import. So we can go ahead and run those lines. So now if we go and check DNS, let's do a refresh, and here we can see now all those records have been created. Which is a nice and handy way of doing it, and something you can use over and over again.